Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So for today's upload, I thought I would do a video on how we entertain our now eight month old Whippet puppy, Ralph. So in December, he's gonna be one, so not so much a little puppy anymore. But of course, eight months is still very much a puppy. He's still bounced off the walls and got loads of energy. And if you've clicked on this video, maybe you've got a puppy or maybe you're looking at getting a dog in the future. So yeah, I thought this might be useful. For any of you pup parents out there who need to occupy your puppy for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. So the best thing we found for Ralph so far is something called a yakka, which is one of these. The yakka or yakkas you can buy in pets at home or you can buy them on Amazon. They come in different sizes. This one's a medium. So I think they come in small, medium, large and extra large. I think for the medium it's a $5.99. For the small it's $2.99. And then the large or extra large is $10.99. He's actually currently chomping on his extra large one at the moment because I thought this was really mean. I've got like all these toys out and he's sniffing around me all excited thinking I'm going to be giving them to him. So I'll give him that to pacify him for the time being. Let me show you. So yeah, as you can see, he loves these. They're amazing. They are really long lasting, like they say. That large one that he's got at the minute could last a couple of weeks, depending how much we give it to him. So I tend to give him the yakka when this seems like I might be on my own and I'm doing my makeup for 20 minutes. Just whenever basically you want to do something, maybe like put the washing out, but you don't want him like jumping up at you or like taking all the clothes out the basket or running around just causing havoc. So they really just keep him lay down, sat down. He might take it in the garden if it's a nice day and just be happily lay on the ground chewing it and he might chew that for half an hour 40 minutes eventually he will get bored but whenever I get them out he gets so excited for them if he's got a yakka as well and people come round he'll look up and then be like oh who is it and then just carry on chewing his yakka whereas if he hasn't got that he's like all full of energy wants to say hi to everyone so yeah I would highly recommend those Ralph loves them but I know not all dogs like them or are that bothered by them so we have met all the whippets and they'll say oh like ours is not too fussed by it but maybe just buy a small one that's what we to begin just to see if they like it and hopefully they do and um, they'll chew on it for a very long time that's the best long lasting treat that we have discovered so far it's made out of himalayan yak milk and apparently humans eat them as well in the himalayas it's completely safe for the dogs to chew and to swallow bits of it and once it gets like a small amount left you can actually put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it puffs up quite big and then you can give it back to them but it doesn't last very long once you've puffed it up in the microwave because it's kind of hollow inside and crunchy but just something a bit fun and different for them. So my second recommendation to keep them chewing for a while is <laughs> this antler I knew this was going to be quite difficult to film once I've got everything out so at first I was a bit concerned about the deer antler being like animal cruelty but I was reassured by the staff and pets at home that they're absolutely not and I did a bit of re <laughs> stop and I did a bit of research online and apparently deer and elk antlers shed naturally every year as well so that's where they get them from they're not like taking off them or anything like that so as weird as it looks when you have guests come round who don't have dogs as you can see he also really likes these however he does prefer the yakas over these these last ages probably about four or five months here you go have fun yeah, so the one he has now has lasted about four or five months and it's still going. He's just made it really small compared to that other one that I just gave him. This is what he's done to the one that he's had for about four months, which now looks like some large shark tooth. So yeah, he loves chewing on those. He definitely prefers the yakka over the antler. The yakka he will like happily chew if you're in a restaurant or in a pub and you want him to be like quiet under the table. That's great. But an antler, he loves chewing at home. But if there's distractions, it's not like maybe quite tasty enough for him to keep chewing whereas the yakas are for him but yeah as you can see he was dying to get that off me then and he's loving it in his bed now and they're supposedly completely safe as well for the dogs to chew on so i know that it's fine chewing that for a long time and especially as puppies because they teeth as well you know that they're chewing all the right things he gets his like aggressive chewing out on the yakka and the antler and his toys so i think that's a small one that i've bought and i think that was about 8.99 you can buy bigger ones some of them are huge they are quite expensive but like that lasts him so long he doesn't need a big one maybe if you've got a bigger dog then that would be handy and then next up number three is a kong it's like when you have kids isn't it you know all these things but if you don't have kids and you speak to someone they're like what you got a deer antler and a kong and a yakka it's like another language these are kongs this is a medium kong so we actually have two of these you can buy bigger ones than these as well and smaller ones for puppies so you basically fill these with whatever tasty treats that you want to fill them with so when we first started giving them to him i used to put in things like carrot like doggy peanut butter and like a few of his treats and you can also freeze them as well to make them last longer that's a really good idea
idea and especially in the summer when it's hot when they're frozen it's like a nice cooling treat for them but yet more recently we've been putting his wet food into it so just scoop the wet food in put it in the freezer and then it's like a frozen ice lolly of his doggy wet food so that's great and I like to have two just so once I've given one and he's finished that I've got another one for the next day still ready and then once I've opened a packet of wet food I know I can fill two with it so yeah they're really good I would say they last about half an hour as well just not as easily as portable if you freeze them because obviously they melt quite quickly so if you go into restaurants and things like that but they're great around the house obviously if you don't freeze it then you could take it to a restaurant and just keep it in like a sandwich bag or something but yeah I would say they keep him occupied for about half an hour with like his frozen wet food in and he loves those and the next thing I wanted to recommend was something we got him more recently which is a bowl food dispenser so this was from pets at home i think it was about six pound and basically does what it says on the tin has like a little slot here you just open it fill it up with his treats or his kibble i just put his quick kibble in it usually and then you can close it to whatever size you want and it locks at that and then yeah he will just kick that around the garden or the living room and the hall and then the treats just like gradually fall out so he's been really enjoying that that'll maybe entertain him for 20 minutes or so as well until then he gets bored and moves on to something else and then he'll come back to it then he just push it under like chairs and furniture and then makes it a bit awkward to get to but great in the garden as well so yeah and obviously because it smells of his food inside he's like constantly sniffing going after it so i would say that is a pretty good purchase something else that keeps him entertained for about 10 15 minutes i'd say is a lick mat so this is only a pretty small lick mat you can get bigger ones we got this when he was quite young so we've just kept it since but you can spread this with like cream cheese and like mushed up carrots doggy peanut butter like a bit of mushed up banana and things like that all sorts and it's got the suck on so you can stick this to like your pvc doors or we give it to him the first time we gave him a bath and then just sticks to like the side of the bath and then just keeps him occupied like in the peanut butter so it wasn't too much of a dramatic experience for him and we do that now although he quite likes his baths now it seems so yeah and also if you're going out as well it's quite easy to put in your bag you can buy like pastes as well in pets at home that are like a bit smaller to keep in your bag and then you can just put some on and give them that so yeah it's just got all sorts of little like grooves in it for them to get the tongs into and keep them busy also all these things are distracting the puppy but it's also like mentally stimulating for them as well so it's making them think like how they get like the food out of the bowl for example or like keeps them busy like licking the tongue and sniffing because they're like very heightened senses in dogs so you're also kind of like tiring them out a little bit at the same time we also feed him his food in a slow feeder we have this one this was just off amazon can't remember how much it was now but we've had that since he was very little so when we first brought him home we just had like a silver bowl and when he would eat it that fast he'd be making himself sick all the time so since we bought the slow feeder that's massively helped he's never sick anymore after he eats his food because he can only get it out so fast although like when we first got it it probably took him about over 15 minutes to eat his food now it takes him like three to five minutes to eat his food but again it's still like mentally stimulating for him he's still trying to have to like figure out how he gets it out but yeah we've loved the slow feeder definitely recommend one of those if you have a fast eater there's something else i do with him every now and then which he enjoys is if you've got a big empty water bottle you can fill it with a couple of like the kibble that they have and then he kicks it round like the garden or the living room until the kibble falls out of the bottle but yeah he quite enjoys that and now every time he sees like an empty bottle in the kitchen like either once we open the bin he'll stick his head in and, like pull the plastic bottle out because he thinks it's a toy the only problem with that is after about 10 minutes if he's getting frustrated and he can see the treats in the plastic bottle he'll start chewing the bottle to like try and get the treats out rather than whacking it around so you just have to be careful obviously with the plastic once he starts chewing it i just take it off him but that generally keeps him entertained for 10 minutes or so which he likes as well and then the obvious one for puppies is toys ralph loves his toys which is really cute any new toy we get him he's like oh my god oh my god oh my god he's so excited and then he'll play with it for ages until he's completely destroyed it so we have this basket of toys that we keep for him and he can go in this whenever he wants and get out what he wants which is really nice so he goes into it quite a lot in the day he'll stick his head in and push him around see which one he wants and then get out <laughs> whatever he wants so yeah there's like numerous toys that we've had for him since he was a puppy some of them are completely destroyed and some of them have completely varied in price as well sorry about the noise for example this one was from aldi which was like five pound i think which you think might get destroyed pretty quickly but this has been very long lasting he has chewed the corners of it now but it doesn't have a squeaker in it whenever there's a squeaker in the toys he's like determined to get the squeaker out of the toy he'll just chew it and rip it until he gets it out eventually and he always does but yeah he's loving it on this one about five pound and then we bought this bear which <laughs> 
doesn't really like a bear anymore. So the Mate Kong, this is one of the teddies you could buy. And it was supposed to be like an ultra strong, indestructible bear, but it wasn't. So this little bear was nine pounds. So we thought, because he destroys most of the ones, we'll buy him a bit more of an expensive toy and see if it is long lasting. But he got into it in like the first day. We've probably had it about two weeks now, but he's completely destroyed it. He got the squeaker out of it. It was made of rope with minimal stuffing, which is really good because a lot of the toys are all stuffing. And once they rip them open, all the stuffing just comes out and goes everywhere. So this one was mainly rope, but he got into it and like started pulling the rope out and chewing on the rope. So it did last longer than like a normal stuffed one, but I kind of thought for the price, I was hoping it was going to last a lot longer, but he absolutely loved it. He loves like smaller toys, like this one. He loves this little frog that he is also empty now because he's destroyed it, but he still likes to chew and play with them. Then you've got like your classic like tug of war ones, strong ones, and he's chewed these as well. Obviously the star of the show wants to be in the video. He's had like numerous balls, although he does like to play fetch, but after about five minutes he gets bored and then won't bring it back, he'll just run off with it. So we have a few balls in the garden that he likes to play with. Yeah, anything like this, this is also quite long lasting and he's got a shark and a few others. So lots of toys. I also try and do tricks every day with Ralph. So we'll do the usual like sit, lie down, turn around, pour in your bed and give him like little rewards after each trick. And that also is like mentally stimulating for them. He loves it because obviously he's getting a tasty chew after it. But yeah, it just kind of like occupies the boredom a little bit. And it's also like a bit of bonding for you and the puppy as well. And I have also read and watched a few videos that say like teaching your puppy a new trick, maybe like once a week or once every two weeks can help with like boredom chewing because you're trying to get like the brain working a bit more so always a good thing and then also I've seen these snuffle mats we haven't actually got for him yet his birthday is in December so maybe I'll get one for him then but they look quite good as well so it's like fabric all turned over on a big mat and then you put like treats in it and then they have to go around and sniff out all the treats and it kind of looks like a sort of like a shaggy rug so all the fabric's quite long so they have to like use the snout to get them all out and they're supposed to be quite good they've got good reviews and probably last like 15 minutes or so we've also started giving Ralph these Whimsies dental sticks. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but he loves the crocodile, it's his favorite. They come in like different shapes. There's like a toothbrush, like a normal dental stick, and then like a crocodile one, and he loves that one. These probably last him like five or 10 minutes to chew through, so they are pretty good chews in terms of like how long dental sticks last and things like that. They just say long lasting treat on the front, and compared to some, they do last like a good five, 10 minutes. So we tend to give him one of them most days. So yeah, that's just a few of the things that we do to keep little Ralph here occupied. Hopefully, if you have got a dog or a puppy or are looking to get one it's giving you a few good ideas of how to keep them occupied if you've got any ideas as well that i haven't mentioned in this video please leave them down below because it's just great discovering new things isn't it that work for your dogs as well and keep them happy yeah so that is it for this video and i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of content i would love it if you could give it a big like and that way i know to make more of it thanks so much for watching bye guys